Hello and welcome. Boy, do I got one for you today. <clears throat> of course, that is your back door that is on the front side of the home. We got the Palm Harbor Timber Ridge Elite. This is a triple wide, 2,635 square feet of just straight luxury. Yeah, trust me on that one. This is super nice. You got that really nice recessed front area there. We'll come take a look at that when we go back in. Let's try to get you a little bit of the outside here. Not going to be able to get to the back, but uh, you can see you got uh, some windows here. That is all your bedroom. Well, let's go ahead and head on in. So as I was saying, those were all bedroom. This is part of your bedroom. You got this really nice recessed area. Not that it rains here in California. We are at Homes Direct in uh, Modesto, California. So I want to say thank you for letting me come film your homes. So you see you got the really big front porch here. Let's get in. It's a little bit cooler on the inside of this home. So now when we come in, you got this little foyer entranceway right here. Let me swing around and show you. That is your front door. We do happen to have a coat closet right when we come in. Good size coat closet right here. Those French doors, that goes to your master bedroom area. We will come back. And as we look in, I mean, Talk about a grand home. So this is a Palm Harbor. It is the Timber Ridge Elite. Super nice home. Nice ceiling fan up there and boy that air feels good. Great big living room area. Like I'm not even sure where the living room starts and the other areas begin. He has a nice little seating area they got set up here. I mean, this area right here is just massive. I mean, there's nothing else you could say to describe it. It's huge, it's massive, it's large. <laughs> it's in charge. We have our dining room area. Now that is a big table. That's got eight man table. You could easily fit, like you said, you've got the eight man there. I almost think you could fit 10 people at this table with the right seats. That is a very large table. Just to give you an idea, that is a huge dining room. I've been trying to, I've filmed this one in the past a couple different times. And I've been trying to explain how big this uh, dining room area really is. Now with this large of a table, it kind of shows. Now, of course, if it was me, and I know a lot of you are gonna say the same thing, I'm cutting the carpet off right where that wall is right there and just go straight across with it. Just cut the carpet out for the dining room. It'd be perfect. I really like the hanging light there. And then our kitchen area where to begin in this kitchen you've got tons of cabinet space in here now i know in some of the newer models of course you know because you can update these and all that this has been it's an older model so to say but they've done updates to it so you can get the floor or the uh, 
cabinets all the way to the ceiling it just means they'd have to move that vent right there a little bit and the one over there but no big deal they can move those obviously they've accounted for that when they do the uh, cabinets to go all the way to the ceiling but lots of cabinets in here you got drawers above all your cabinets really nice backsplash I really like the backsplash I used here these are the black Whirlpool appliances gas top stove really nice built-in uh, open cupboard there In case I didn't mention it, this is a four bedroom, three bath. I don't think I mentioned that to begin with. Really nice kitchen counter right here. You can kind of sit out there and associate with the family and everything else while they're doing their thing. You know, most, of course my kid Probably while I'm sitting there doing the dishes or whatever else, he's going to be over there playing video games or watching TV or... Center Island here isn't really all that big, but the way the kitchen's laid out, you really couldn't go much bigger anyway, but you do have some nice little storage cabinets down below. And we've got more cabinets over here and yes you do get a pantry now this pantry is set up so you got shelves on both sides now if it was me I would probably end up running a couple shelves right across the front right there too you know just not quite so deep but a couple shelves in there Give myself just that much more storage space. That's an easy add-in you could do once you get the home yourself, if it's not an option when you get the home. So let's come check out these, uh, well, let's start with the bathroom here, and then we'll go to the bedrooms. It's a nice big counter space in here. A couple of drawers lined up right there. Nice size bathroom. It's not super narrow like you see some of them. You know, you got to just that, that extra four inches makes all the difference in the world in how this thing feels. The one piece shower tub combo. Nice backsplash on your counter there too, by the way. And then we'll go into this bedroom here, which they have set up as an office. If this was my home, this is probably what I would use it for too. Great big closet here. Perfect for storing all your files and that kind of stuff. Nice big bedroom here. Great big floor to ceiling window over there. And we'll come check out your utility room so you got a coat closet here with uh, no rack in it so they must still have to put that in when you get the home here's another coat closet so that must be the coat closet this must be a linen closet that doesn't have anything in it at the moment. Your furnace is right back here. Your washer and dryer hookups, plenty of room for full size. Probably put a shelf up there. Nice folding table. That's a good size folding table. Possibly even put a sink in there if you wanted to. We'll kind of come back to that. I haven't even told you about that room yet. Really nice 
bedroom once again. Now, in case y'all forgot, last time I posted this home, of course it was optioned a little bit differently. This great big entertainment room. I mean, you've got lots of room in here. This is only half of the room. Lots of great big floor to ceiling windows over there. Lots of recessed lighting. And this room just goes on and on and on this is the perfect theater room put yourself a hundred inch tv on that wall <laughs> a couple of subs on each side your center channel above you know all that good stuff put your theater chairs right about here put all your surrounds you know your dolby atmos up here on the ceiling you know we're talking, you can make the perfect theater room out of this. They already got the blackout curtains hanging there, so you could just pull those shut along with closing the blinds. I mean, of course you have to get rid of all this stuff right here. Or you could use this for more entertaining. bathroom number two once again they've got that uh, nice set of drawers right there great big cabinet same backsplash I mean this is basically identical to the other one except that you have a window above it the other one did not have the window above the shower tub combo and in our third bedroom We got to go check out the master bedroom. I told you, you're going to want to wait around for this one. Yeah, you're going to like this. Believe me. So we come into the master bedroom. You've got this entranceway. You got a foyer into your master bedroom. Nice little curio cabinet I think is what they call that you know of course that doesn't come with a home but a good place to kind of set everything down you know that kind of stuff to your right yep that's all the closet you get now <laughs> now if these windows don't give you an idea as to just how big your closet is This is a whole nother bedroom in itself. <laughs> this closet is huge. Now I made a joke about another closet. If you could fill that closet, you needed to go see someone. This closet's even bigger. Let's go. We got a lot more to see yet, including this extremely large master bedroom. That is a king size bed for comparison. Like I said, you have a lot of master bedroom space in here.
course, I can't hide the fact that you got this great big tub right when you walk in. This really nice, I'm not sure what kind of tile it is because it's got a, a texture to it, almost like a cloth, but it's not cloth. It is an actual tile. Looks really good. I've seen that in one other home, not here, but in another place that I filmed at. Not sure what they call that kind of tile, but I really like the inlay right there. And look at all the cabinet space you have below your sink there. Once again, they went with that same tile up here. Hello, Raiden. You've got a couple windows above your tub. Now these counters are a little bit higher than what you normally see in your, uh, for your bathroom counters. Or at least they feel like they're a little bit taller. But really nice, lots of counter space for both sinks. And they went with that same tile in here. Like I said, I'm just not quite sure what they call that, but it's a, it's a really nice tile, I can tell you that. I don't know if the camera does it justice. Trying to show you the texture. But we've got a shower head over here. You've got the handheld over there. So you got two different showers in here. Nice to see a bench down below. And don't forget we have our water closet back over here. There's not a lot to show in the water closet. So if you know what that tile is called, go down there in the comments and leave me a comment. Let me know. i like to know for future reference when I'm filming the homes. The next time I see it, I'll know what to call it. What else did you like about the home? I mean, this is huge. There's not a lot to not like about the home. Everything about it screams luxury. I mean, you've got that great big room way back over there. So leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. While you're there, make sure that subscription bell or that subscription icon is gray, not red. If it's red, you need to be clicking that button. While you're there, turn the bell on so you get notified when I upload videos three times a week. And I do thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye. All right, so now let's get into some pricing on this home. Yes, I have a cord hanging. <laughs> My gimbal was dying. I needed to charge it up a little bit. It's been a long day. It's hot out here. As you can see, I'm hot and sweaty. <laughs> I bet you it's close to 100 degrees here in California today. <clears throat> so anyway, let's get on with some pricing of this home here. So uh, this home, as you know, is a very large home. It's a triple wide. It is, uh, what was it? 2,635 square feet. This home starts at $331,000. That is the time of filming here in Modesto, California in August of 2022. So prices vary, they go up, they go down, keep that in mind. The price that I give you may not be the same price you pay in your state, so keep that in mind also. What I'm telling you now may not be accurate even two months down the road. Price as shown, $344,000. So not really a whole lot of options in this home. I mean, yeah, there's $14,000 worth of options done to this home. But even base price, if that's only $14,000 in options, you get a lot of home for that base price. So uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.